Alright, and now we're back. I got full sub tanks now, because I let my game just sit and watch. But anyways, yeah, now, this is like technically like the second half of the level. This level's really a lot shorter. The boss fight coming out now is why I can't do this. So yeah, the boss that we're going to be fighting is right here. Again, if you had Bite or been alive still, it'd be a different boss. And their weaknesses would still stay the same. Now this, this is the garbage disposal boss. This guy is a bit of a troll in some aspects, so easiest way to beat him, just keep climbing this wall. Make sure he doesn't do that. That's just a demonstration. You know, if you shoot the claw, if you shoot the, uh, the tornado fang at that right distance, you should be able to hit his face. What's gonna happen is uh, if you destroy his uh, his tusk, he's going to shoot. Uh... Hey, you're gonna he's gonna leak the rest of the acid that's uh, in his tusk. So I'll drain his health a tad. What happens is if he grabs you. He'll send you flying over here, so. You just gotta kind of grab him, but like once you get him like that, you know, just kind of have his claw go a the furthest down, but don't land in the acid because he'll drain him. And once you do that, he dies, and then you beat him. So, now we're on stage two. And that's, uh,. Not really that hard. But anyways. So yeah, we'll do the typical, yeah, we beat him. <laughs> so yeah, that's the password. Here's your password. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this. Uh, in, in the first three Mega Man X games, you know, when you put the password in, it might give you different passwords, but it still takes you back to stage one. You need to turn the game off, turn it back on. I know that's not how it works in Mega Man 7, but the first the first six Mega Man games, I know when they introduced the password system in Mega Man X uh, 6, was it? Or Mega Man X uh, 2, for the first time. You could start off with different subtitles. Okay, now this guy's... A, th these guys are really fucking annoying. Like, I mean, I don't remember exactly what weapon you want to use to beat them, but I just fly through them. Like, like literally, you, you do not want to fight these guys. Like, they, they just, they're, just, they're just there to piss you off. They really are. They attack too fast, they got multiple attacks they can use, and then, like, you know, they just do a shitload of damage. Like, it's not really the kind of, you know, you, you really don't want to be fighting those guys, and, and that's just there to help you out. But, like, if you enter, if you had one and you enter the water, you would just die instead. <laughs> or it, it would just, it would malfunction, and its health would deplete, like, by quarter from the function. Yeah. So, yeah, here we have another boss that's actually really interesting. supposed to have it either. There we go. I don't know. Like, I, I, I have like bad luck sometimes. Like, you know, maybe I'll just throw myself right in there like I'm trying to kill myself. In this <laughs> Third aspects. It, it's, it's weird. It really is. This room is actually really big. So you can jump all the way up here and like up in that room. <laughs> Pots everywhere. This next part's really annoying. Well, First we gotta get past these bastards and then I hate these guys, they're really good. They're fucking annoying. And, and, and the fact that they put some of the enemies like when you really don't want to be fighting them in the first place. Again, don't kill them if... Okay, now here's the annoying 